Hey, hey friends, it is Ashley with Charlie Rose Creations. I am making some glitter tumblers. And tonight, um, well, first of all, if you haven't followed me um, for a while or you haven't been watching a lot of my lives, this month I have, I'm sorry, I'm trying to look at my phone. This month I have been doing 32 days of lives, meaning I've done a live every day. Um, I did miss one because I had a sick kid. So, um, you know, gotta do what you gotta do, right? So anyway, um, doing 32 days of lives, it'll end on fe February 1st. And so I've already done a live like this, but it needs to be done over here. I need to, um, I need to ship out tumblers. So that's, y'all get to see real life stuff of, of what's happening and what I need to work on. And so that's what's happening today is I need to ship out. So um, I'm going to try to do a lot more this time. I think I only like packaged up, um, I think I only packaged up like one or two last time. So yeah, so that way if you have any questions, you can kind of ask me while I'm packaging up and you can kind of see what it really looks like when you have to do like, I don't know how many this is, like 20, something like that. Um, so, sorry, I'm trying to get situated and I'm riding the struggle bus today. So, Rebecca got glitter. Yay, I'm so glad. <gasps> Hopefully you love it. Um, Tasha, thank you so much. I'm so glad. Hey, friends. Okay, Emily, thank you. That's so sweet. I have Facebook and didn't know how. Oh, Laura, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I hate that I, uh, that I scared you. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to point you down, and I'm going to get started. Luckily, you guys, um, my husband helps me a lot. He helps me a lot with a lot of different things, uh, but he helped me today, and what he did was he, um, even little things like this are so helpful for me. So if you have a spouse or significant other or an older child who can do these sorts of things, that would be super helpful for you. So what he did for me today was he, um, hang on. he went ahead and got my boxes taped up. Uh, so it's so much, it's just, it's already done. So I was able to do something else while he was doing this. And it's just something little, but that really does save me about 20 minutes. Cause I, I think I have to do 15 boxes. Um, but I have one, two, two orders that I'm gonna have to put in a different box cause there's too many. But, um, just if you can find ways to have somebody help you with something like, um, no, nobody wants to really help me with the actual shipping. Uh, here, and here's why. Uh, he enlightened me on that today. That he, like, if I make a mistake and I ship a tumbler somewhere else than where it's supposed to go, I've made the mistake. But if he does it, um, he, that would just be awful. He'd feel awful. And so, um, so that's why he doesn't really like helping like with the actual shipping, shipping part. So he's happy to help do like random things like that. So that's, that's nice. Okay. So I am going to just kind of point you down and walk you through my process. I'm going to try to answer questions, um, as much as I can, but also I am trying to get this done as quickly as possible. So I can go to bed and get these ready to go out tomorrow. So, um, yeah. So you can just kind of see what all I do. Hang on. That may be too much. Here we go. That may be better. You can see a little bit more. All right, this isn't all of them. It's just the ones that I've put down here, right here. I've got a bunch over this way. Um, yeah, that looks, okay, that looks good. All right, so these have all been cleaned already on the inside, and I've kind of cleaned them up up here as well. So what I, what I do first is I just kind of get them where I want them to go, and then... I need to order some more. I need to order some more business cards. I need to write that down so I don't forget. Sorry, I'm seriously writing this down so I don't forget. Business cards. Okay. Hey, Shauna. All right. So just for anybody who cares what my business cards look like. This is not what they look like originally. Um, when I redid my logo, and y'all, I love this. I, I made this myself, my logo myself. And um, I love that it's simple. 
I just wanted something just crazy simple and easy and just I'm a minimalist I don't like a lot of stuff and so this suits me um, so Amy that makes my day that can I just tell you Amy just said that she is watching replays of Jennifer Allwood and me at the same time and the fact that you're watching both of us like that I am in just that just makes my day it just makes it all right so here's how I did my business card um, I think it should be noted that I only do tumblers if you do other things you may not want to do um, yours like how I did but this is the only thing I do uh, I also sell glitter but that goes together and I don't throw a business card in there because everybody knows who I am if you're ordering glitter for me you you know who I am um, and there are no like real instructions on that it's, it's glitter so anyway on one side I put my logo like this and then on the other side, I have my website and my Facebook page and then my email address for getting in contact with me. And then I also have Tumblr care instructions. And I keep mine pretty simple because um, I don't really feel like I need to go above this. Like, it's hand wash only. Don't put it in the dishwasher and don't soak it. And then that's plenty of enough instructions for people and then I also have my name on here but I put one I don't think I have any yetis over here I'm trying to remember I don't think so man yes I definitely have to get some more this is this is all I have left Okay, and then I am going to do uh, tops. Has anyone dropped one? Um, yeah, sure, yes. Um, and I've had somebody contact me about that. But I mean, there's pretty much, there's lots of things that you buy that you can drop. And if you drop it, it's gonna break. Um, that's not my fault. So I don't really put that on there, but um, I do have it like in my listings. Like if you drop it, it will break. <laughs> um, Heather, I've never put do not microwave on there, mainly because I would hope that people would know that you can't microwave metal, but um, I haven't ever had any issues with it, but you know, always a first time for everything. All right, and so then I have, um, you can't see this because it's not on the screen. I keep my lids in a little container thing. I'm trying to move these out of the way. One of these little buckets. This is on my shipping station. And so I have 30 ounces that are separate from 20 ounces. And then I have the weird stuff. And so what I mean by that is um, skinnies, wine glasses, stuff like that. So go ahead and add the top to all of these. And then if I were also gonna be taking pictures, like this is when I would take um, pictures. Oh, some of these I do need to take pictures of, crap. So some of these I'm not, I'm not going to, um, and, and my lids, y'all, it doesn't matter what I do, they are gonna get glitter on them, even though they're not like near glitter. So I just kind of clean them off. But it happens every time. No joke. Hi, Amy. Let's see. Y'all, this process takes forever. This this is probably this is probably my most like least favorite part. Then decals. Um, and then I like the epoxy and glitter part. Like that, I love that part. How I take my pictures. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, well, I don't do anything special. I have my light box. But I do, um, somebody messaged me about this. I've got to get back to them. Um, but when I take my pictures, I, I have to edit them even in a, oh, I don't have another 30 ounce. Oh, yes, I do. I knew I did. 
even um, using a light box, you still have to edit your pictures. Um, and I and I still edit mine. So, and then I've got 20s over here. So the easiest thing I've found for me for editing is the app Pick Tap Go. That's the name of it, Pick Tap Go. And I have like a, you can have, you can set up like a, like a recipe type deal where you have different filters and the combination of the filter is something that you really like. So I have one that's in there and it's called tumblers and it's what I use for my tumblers and it's just, it comes out perfect and that's how I get such a nice picture. And I'm telling you guys, pictures are everything. They are everything. Okay, I think that's it on that one. Okay. All right, and this is like my box of random tops, like things that are just kind of odd. Um, So, so somebody was asking about the light box and she, is that Sheila? Shelia? I'll show, I'll show them in just a second. Um, I don't use a flash. I don't use a flash when I use my light box. No. Oh, that looks weird. It looks like it's cracked. Okay. Um, let's see. Yes. So Faye is saying that for her light box, for her earrings, she still has to edit her photos. I mean, guys, professional photographers still edit their photos. Um, I think it's, it's you're just not going to get a perfect picture no matter what you do, no matter what you use. And I think it's normal to edit your pictures. Um, as long as you're editing it so that it looks comparable to what it looks like in real life, I think you're good. If you're editing, editing it to make it look, um, to make it look different, I think that's when you get into problems. But But I just edit mine to make it look like it does in real life. Uh, is it necessary to put a base coat on there? No. A good watermark app. I use the app. I watermark. Sorry, it took me a minute. I watermark. Y'all, glitter. I love glitter, but it just, it gets on everything. The link, 2 did you mean the link for the light box? Kashana can add that for you. Um, now the light box, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the light box I bought. Y'all, and I don't regret it, like not even a little bit. The light box I bought is huge. <laughs> Like just no joke. It's it's very it's big, but the thing I like because uh, I don't read. I'm not great about reading like dimensions, and so in the picture it didn't look that big, but it is. And so um, it is pretty big. It's a oh, oh, wine wine. Where are my wine glasses? Here they are. Um. So it is big, but it folds up, and so when I'm not using it, I fold it up and I kind of put it in a corner, and then um. Just get it out when I need it. So, I don't do a base coat on all of my tumblers. It is the bomb. Let's see. Yes, it, seriously, it is the bomb. So, it's big, but you can do like a lot of picture, a lot of tumblers in the same picture if you want to, um, which is nice. I'm just making sure that I have all of my... Uh, 
Oh, the picture editing, it's an app on my phone. It's an app on my phone. It's called Pick Tap Go. P I C T A P G O. All right. Okay, so somebody wanted to see the wine tumblers. Here is what they look like. So I'm actually going to do these first since they're kind of small. They go together. Just move this out of the way. Um, Heather, no, I don't use that app to edit, to add my watermark. Um, hang on, give me a second. I got to find my so when I start packaging stuff up, I always get my little post-it note for it. So this tells me the order number, the person's name, and when my goal was to have it shipped out by. So these were supposed to ship out on February 4th. So I'm ahead of time on these. Um, I'm not always like that, but... All right, and then... Put that over there. And then I just use, this is white butcher paper. Now these don't always like look the most perfect. But I'm not always striving for perfections, perfection with, with how I ship, um, like the way it looks. I'm striving to make sure that my tumblers get to my people in one piece. Oh, poo, I forgot to put my stick Y'all, I swear, I get on here on these lives and I lose, I lose my brain. I'm not going to do it on this one just because these are so small. Okay. okay, so y'all, all I do is I wrap it up like they wrap up the sandwiches at Subway. So these are regional rate A boxes. You can get these for free on the, this is what it looks like from the side. Regional rate A. These can be shipped anywhere in the United States. Y'all, this butcher paper is different than the last one, even though I swear I ordered from the exact same link. I think I'm gonna have to tape these first from now on. All right, and so I just stick them in there and then anytime there's a gap, so that way like the cups aren't gonna move. Is there a reason why I don't use the bubble wrap? There sure is. Um, all I've heard from people who have ever used the butcher or the um, the bubble wrap is that sometimes it will leave indentions on the epoxy. I don't feel like that would happen for me because of the epoxy that I use. It's got a huge, a really high heat tolerance. I think like 500 degrees. But this just makes me feel better, and um, and so like I've never used bubble wrap, so I just don't. Put some on top. 
And then I have these little postcards. These were super cheap, super cheap to purchase um, from Vistaprint. And then I just write a little thank you note. And then if I had magnets, which I still haven't gotten more magnets, um, where did the tape go? If I had magnets, they would go in here too, but I don't because I still have to buy some more magnet magnets. And then I just close it up. The watermark is iWatermark. That's the app I use. You just upload your watermark in there and you can add it to any picture. And then I stick this little guy on this. And so that way when I go to um, print out my shipping label, I know what order it is. And that's where I go find the, the address there. And so that way I don't have to box one up, print the label. Box one up, print the label. And so I can just box them all up at the same time. Can you buy a bulk order of the boxes? You sure can. Um, I purchase in batches of 100. And so they come in, they come in like, uh, like, um, like little con things of 25 and you can get up to four at a time. Lauren, I use E6000 to attach my magnet to my rose. Why don't I put them back in the boxes? Okay, that's another great question. The one time I didn't wrap it like this, and I just put it in the box, and then still stuffed it full, and then shipped it, I got a message from my customer, and the um, cup was, like, shattered. So, it looked like, it was like a puncture mark, like, um, like if something were to hit your windshield or something, and the, it would everything would um, shatter from that point. That's what it looked like. So ever since then, I don't, um, I don't do that anymore. So I feel like this is more protected. It takes more time and it probably doesn't look like as clean and perfect as it could, but I try to do my process and make sure that my process is quick so that that way I'm not wasting too much time on it and that it gets, um, gets to my customer in one piece. Um, Hannah, I'm assuming when you say that you had epoxy, um, drip and it dried that you were hand turning and, um, you can sand those off with a sand, um, uh, oh, words, electric sander if you want to. Oh, Erin, thank you. This is what works for me. And so then I just set these aside and I do another one. And then I choose my, my little thing. So I pull these down one at a time so I don't mess up what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. And then I didn't do this before, but I need to clean off the bottom of this. The other ones I didn't have to worry about that because they didn't have a bottom. And so I just get a towel and some alcohol. kind of clean it and then I add my sticker and what other one did she have A lot of times I don't add my sticker to the skinnies because it's almost like it dips down right here and it doesn't want to lay flat. So, and I need to get a straw for that. So I'm not gonna close this one up because it still needs a straw. Hannah, yeah, you epoxy over it. Um, it doesn't always work perfectly and sometimes I still have to strip it. But it's an option. All right. Good 
Y'all, this is really awkward to do on a video, just FYI. So again, I just kind of wrap this up like, it's seriously like they wrap the subs at Subway. All right, and then this is actually a little bit thicker. Y'all, I'm not very graceful on lives. So it's a little thicker, so I'm gonna actually tape this. I'm gonna add a little sticker. This may not fit, we'll see. Okay. Erin, I actually have a whole video on how I actually clean um, up the epoxy part. This is just like getting fingerprints off of it. Um, will my stickers peel off when a customer washes their cup? No, um, because it's a vinyl sticker. So it works just like regular vinyl does. Um, I have cups that have stickers on there from two and a half years ago. Still going strong. All right, now I am not going to, this is like, you can fit two in here, just just saying. Um, I'm not gonna close this up because this is a skinny and it actually needs a straw in here, but the straws are all the way on the other side of the room and I, um, I'm not gonna go all the way over there because it'll take me forever and I'll have to trip over all the other boxes. So I'm gonna keep this here so that way I don't forget to add the straw, but I'll, I'll do that just the same. Just the same as all the other ones. Um, Erica, those are yours. Those are yours. I'm glad you're excited. I was a little bit, y'all, uh, my kids being sick and then me being sick totally jacked up my timeline for live sale cups. So if you got a cup during the live sale, I appreciate your patience. Um, I've been working on getting those done. How long do you wait till after the first coat? on the last coat of epoxy. Um, Jody, I usually wait a minimum of two days. Honestly, it's usually longer than that because I don't like to just package up one or two at a time. I wanna package up a bunch at a time and just get them all out. So I'll wait until I have several, uh, around at least eight. And yeah. Um, where can we purchase the stickers? The stickers are from Sticker Mule. Hang on, I'll show you. So this is how mine come, hang on. I dropped, I dropped it, so it kind of went everywhere. Mine come on a roll like this. I actually need to go um, buy some more. I'm getting a little low. They come on a roll like this, and it just has my logo on there. And I added my, my website. But you can also get them where they come on like little sheets. I cut these and so you would just peel it like a regular sticker, but these are vinyl. It's not like a paper sticker that's gonna dissolve and mess up in the wash. Um, Courtney, yeah, let's see, here you go. It's really dirty right now, you can see. Erica, I don't know if anybody in my house is starting to feel better. I keep hoping so, but um, yeah, it's not. 
it's not happening, but thank you. I'm so, I appreciate your patience. Um, anything else? How do you strip a cup with, that has epoxy and glitter on it? I usually do, let me do, that one's another skinny. Okay, here we go. I guess my husband's watching TV. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm sorry. Um, to strip a cup, I uh, put it, like I put it down, wrap it in paper towels, and then lay some tin foil down, and then I'd soak that in acetone, wrap it up in the tin foil, and then I put it in a baggie, like a Ziploc bag, and let it sit uh, usually like overnight. And then when you go to pull it off, it should just all fall off. So. All right, I'm gonna do one more just so you can see. And then we'll call that a night. So I've gotta clean this up again. And this is just alcohol. You could also use acetone, but it's just as easy. I don't have like a lot of um, a lot of epoxy on it because I already cleaned that off. Sticker. And y'all, I try to line up my uh, decals with my stickers. I don't really know if that's necessary, but that's what I do. stickers. The stickers are two by two. Two inches by two inches. Why not add the sticker to the bottom of the cup prior to the last coat of, coat of epoxy? Um, here's my thinking on it. And everybody has uh, different opinions. So a lot of my cups aren't epoxied on the bottom. So that would be the number one reason. Um, there's no point in, in doing it before because it's not epoxied anyway. But on cups that are epoxied, I don't like taking away my customer's choice if they decide they don't want, want the sticker. They can take it off. You can take it off. You may have to clean it up with some alcohol or acetone to get the like little stickiness off of it. But I just don't like taking away their choice. And so most people, I had somebody message me saying they were upset that I forgot their sticker. So I mailed them one. But most people, most people are fine with it. But I just, it's just how I've always felt about it. And it doesn't really change anything. And also it's a little bit of a pain to epoxy it. The epoxy doesn't really want to stick great to the vinyl sticker. And sometimes I'll have, I've done it before, um, like for my cups, where the epoxy won't stick like around the edge of the sticker. So again, I just make sure the cut can't can't move. God, I don't shake every single one um, like I do right, like I've been doing. Um, I'm just doing it for your benefit. I know that it's not going to move because this is very stiff. with my marker there it is all right 
right. Put that on top here. And then that, that's it. All right, friends, if that is all that you got, hopefully that helped you. Um, of course, if you have a way that you ship now and you like the way you do it, by all means, continue doing it or you can adapt things that you like that I'm doing. Um, this is just to help for those people, um, just to help for those people who don't know how to ship or are needing just needing help in this area um just a reminder if you purchase your labels online you are going to get um a cheaper rate than if you go into the post office if you order labels online it's cheaper purchase labels online um i have a dymo label maker label printer thing it's the bomb.com it's like my favorite thing that i've purchased they fly out of there it's great but before i did that i bought these sheets of labels you can get them on amazon and probably can get them in walmart too but essentially it was a giant sticky sheet that was perforated down the center and i could print two labels on either side and so so that's another option. You just peel them off. It just needs a regular printer and you can slap it on here. Um, what else? It does help to have, you need a scale. So I just have like a little kitchen scale that I got on Amazon for like $8. $8. And I just set my cups on it like that. Most of them are um, like a single cup is no more than 1.8 pounds once it's packaged. So this is probably like mm, 1.4, 1.3, something like that. So I hope that helped you guys and I'm going to continue um, packaging up the rest of these. But as always, I appreciate you hanging out with me and, um, you know, this has been, this has been, uh, interesting to go live this much. And so everybody who keeps showing up, I appreciate you. And, um, Yeah, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye, friends.